and welcome to this special edition of the Waifu Wars! The 4th of July special! I'm your host, the awesome Chet, and we are in the most American place that we can be. New Zealand, baby! Let's go! America, fuck yeah! We have a huge 7v7 matchup! Team America taking on Team Immigrants! Foreigners! Whatever you really want to call them! But either way, the, how this matchup works is that we're going to start off with four competitors in each of the teams. And then, as soon as one competitor gets eliminated, another member will enter. As soon as every single competitor in, a, in an opposing team has been eliminated, the winner is crowned pretty much. So there you go. That, a huge matchup here today as Captain Dalton will be representing America in this... Uh, in this matchup here today, as he is from the good old USA, one half of the Captain Calvary. So very interesting to say the least. But of course, this is a 7v7. So who is Dalton's tag team partner? As the crowd awaits, who is it going to be? By God. It is none other than our current US President. It's Donald Trump! Trump's gonna, of course, he's gonna fight for all our rights. Yeah, right. But either way, he's gonna, he's gonna fight for America in the waifu wars, damn it. Trump looks ready for action. Look at, look at that. He has his game face on right now. Huge opportunity for Trump. Of course, who is going to start off with Trump and Dalton? That's the question here. Who's the third man of Team America? Because, of course, Trump is from New York. It is not other than Guy Fieri! This is gangster indeed! Guy Fieri, the king of the hell! Is also going to be in this match up here today. Of course, Guy Fieri has not really been having the best of season fives, but he could turn that around by winning with Team America here. Of course, Guy from Columbus, Ohio, so you know. Of course, he'd be in Team America. Plus, the whole American stereotype is pretty much fat ass people. Eating fast food all day. I mean, Guy Fieri fits so well in this team. But of course, who is the fourth competitor that will be starting off this matchup with Team America here? But of course, just because we see the first four does not mean that there are three more participants in Team America that will also be in this matchup. Same goes for the opposing team of the non-Americans. And oh my god, it's fucking Chris Awesome. What the hell is he wearing? And why is he holding an American flag? It's pretty damn ironic looking at his championship belt with the damn, with the damn Soviet Union logo on it while he's wearing the most American gear in the world. Chris Awesome, what the hell is he doing in Team America? I mean, he is from America, from Dallas, Texas, born and raised. And he does have the most American theme song in the Waifu Wars. But Chris Awesome, the current world champion, is in this damn match. What the hell? Awesome milking the crap out of this entrance. And here is one member of the opposing team. Which is pretty, uh, which is also another ironic thing as, uh, of course, the Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler, is a member of the Intercommunist Circle, which Chris Awesome's a part of the opposing side. 
So what does that mean for both these men heading to the matchup? Of course, Hitler from Germany. Berlin, Germany, if you want to be exact, is in this matchup. Of course, the fear made his return in our last episode of the Waifu Wars in that 20-man Royal Rumble that we had. And now Hitler looks to win with the non-Americans here tonight. To defeat the Americans and tell them that they suck. What a way to win there. And of course, Hitler is the first competitor for his team. Who is the second participant? Oh, what a unique entrant here. As is Jim Carrey, who seems to be Robotnik in this matchup. Of course, Jim Carrey is a Canadian. He is uh, from Canada. So it makes sense that Carrey is in this team here tonight. Of course, Carrey, man. An interesting story here in the Wifey Wars. But of course the question is, who is going to be the next participant that will be teaming up with the Americans here? We have Kerry, we have Hitler. Who can the third man be? And oh shit! It's fucking Stefan, the current Duel Monsters Champion! We haven't seen Stefan ever since he walked out of his match with Maestro Sharp. And now he's made his way to the Waifu Wars to beat up Americans. Of course, Irish bred from County Wicklow, Ireland. Stefan is in the Non-Americans team. Of course, he would love to get his hands on Chris Awesome. Chris Awesome, of course, Turning his back on Stefan in that in a tag match they had in a, a couple episodes ago. Which is pretty ironic that Stefan said that he would know when Chris Awesome would turn his back on him. But now we have uh, one more competitor in this opposing team for Team America here. Who's it gonna be? And oh, it is one half of our Velocity Tag Team Champions. It's Mega Man. Of course, Mega Man, of course, he's not really a human, but he was made in Japan. So it makes sense that Mega Man would be in this team as well. And of course, this is an interesting matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, faces and heels, they have to unite to fight for their, uh, for their homeland here. Of course, you have an interesting team of Mega Man and Stefan and Hitler and Jim Carrey, but then you also have a unique team of Guy Fieri, Donald Trump, Captain Dalton, and Chris Awesome. Of course, Cam Dalton and Chris Awesome. Two men who just do not get along with each other. But alliances, they have to be made if you want to fight for your country here. As the match has just started, the Fuhrer and Dalton starting off this matchup. They're having a little stare down here. As, oh, Hitler goes for the first shot. What an uppercut. But Dalton with a forearm. Hitler with an uppercut, though. Right back at him. Dalton with a forearm, though. Back and forth. These two men go. As Dalton with a butterfly suplex into a bridge. One, no. One count only. As Dalton picks up the fear now. Irish whipping him into the corner. Chop to the chest. Oh, but a boot to the face there by Adolf Hitler. And now Hitler now picks him up high angle into a power bomb splash mountain there by the fear. But no, don't only kick it out at one. The match just began. It makes sense that both these men are still fresh off. They're gonna have to go through a hell of a lot of competition here if they even want to win. And oh, what the hell? Dalton Irish whipping the fear and awesome, lowering the ropes for the fear to 
to go to the uh, outside of the uh, of the ring. I don't think the Fuhrer expected Awesome to do that. Maybe it is every man for himself, even though both men are in the same team. Of course, not in Team America versus Team Non-Americans, but you know, in the intercom to circle. As Guy Fieri getting tagged in here by Don. No! Double back body drop. Nicely executed there by both the competitors. Guy Fieri now the legal man in this matchup. As, oh, hits the Fuhrer with a huge code breaker. Cover one. No! One count only. The match just began. The Fuhrer is still fresh off in this matchup. But if I were him, I'd get a tag in like right now. Because <coughs> he's been getting his, uh, his ass kicked by Dorton and the Fuhrer. And uh, not the Fuhrer, but in Guy Fieri, but... It seemed like Hiller had the advantage, but Guy got it right back. Tags back, Dalton. Oh, they both kick him right in the chest. As, look at Guy springing off. Adolf Hiller. Oh, into Dalton. Into a wheelbarrow. Into a senton. Jesus Christ, what a unique double team maneuver cover. Oh, two count only. The Fuhrer was that close to getting eliminated as Dalton now tags into the current U.S. President, Donald Trump. In, in the ring now as he's going to back suplex the Fuhrer right into the mat. And now Trump with the strikes. He is just all over the Fuhrer right now. He is on fire here. And it's not just his orange skin. As, oh, what a normal like suplex there by Donald Trump. Trump is just... Oh, well, I was going to say Trump was aiming on Hitler, but now he decided to... They're taunt for the fans here, but he back elbow. And now, Irish stripping the fear into the corner, flipping him over. Oh, what a shot to the face. And a chop to the chest. Donald Trump putting Adolf on the top turn, but no, oh, the fear was able to escape. And oh no, he got Trump out of nowhere. Tombstone pile driver planting the head and neck right into the mat. Cover one. Two, three, and Donald Trump has been eliminated. Donald Trump is the first elimination. It is now five to seven, or six to seven. Team on Americans with the advantage here. But who is gonna replace Trump here in this matchup? As the fans are just anticipating who the entrant is gonna be. As, oh crap, it is Chuck Norris. One of the most American men that you can really think of. The master of the roundhouse, number one contender for Stefan's Dual Monsters champion. Of course, Stefan is in the ring, or he's not in the ring, but he's in the match. As Norris makes his way to the ring, the Fuhrer waiting for him. As, oh, they both stare down. Norris just all over the Fierce face. As, oh, Hitler was, was shot. No, Norris reverses. Shot of his own. As Norris with the strikes. The combination of strikes. That knee lift to end it off, though. As Norris picks him up. Kick to the gut. DDT to Hitler. And the cover. There by Norris. One, two, no. Two count only. Adolf Hitler is still in the matchup here ladies and gentlemen as Norris now picks him up hooks the arm suplex right in the middle of the ring as Norris picks up the Fuhrer Irish whips him into oh into the opposing corner as look at Stefan Stefan is trying to interfere in this matchup as Norris of course telling him to bring it on it because of that because of the distraction oh well it seemed like Adolf Hitler had the advantage but Norris got back the advantage and Stefan tags himself in are we gonna see Norris take on Stefan right now a little preview of what to see at the no escape pay-per-view never mind Stefan is gonna cower away and tag into Jim Carrey as Carrey with the snap jabs no reversal there by Norris as Norris with the shots the shots to the gut. Oh, what a kick to the side of the head. Kerry seems to just get his ass handed to him as soon as, as he enters the ring with Chuck Norris. As Norris is just on fire here as an alley -oop bomb. Taking down Jim Kerry. Norris going to show Steven this is what he's going to do to him at the pay-per-view. But oh, reversal there by Kerry to the war. Side slam. 
in the middle of the ring, covered by Carey, one, no, one count only, Norris barely got hit with any moves to even be able to kick out at two, Norris is that damn fresh right now, as we speak, as Irish opens up a corner, Carey with a shot, chop, chop to the chest, Jesus, putting Norris on the top, turnbuckle, a shot to the chest, spreading the legs apart, shot to the face, Carey, what does he have in store for Norris with the top turnbuckle? No! Norris fighting back! Oh, he throws Carey from the top turnbuckle! Double stomp the agility of Norris! Taking down Carey! Shot to the back! As Norris now with the Irish whip to Carey! They both bump into each other, but Norris was the lightning quick speed roundhouse kick! And Jim Carey's been eliminated by Chuck Norris. It is an even field. It is six to six. As Stefan and Norris stare each other down. But Stefan is not the legal man because the legal man is the man coming out right now. As it is, Waluigi! Of course, Waluigi from Italy! Where they make a lot of pizza and shit. I don't fucking know. But Waluigi, of course, just like uh, many men, he made his return at last uh, last time's episode of the Waifu Wars at that Rumble. And now Waluigi looks to win this matchup here tonight for the, for the non-Americans. As Norris is waiting for Waluigi to make it to the ring, there he goes, Waluigi time! As, oh, Waluigi saw that shot coming! As Waluigi! Look at that, Waluigi is just going ham on Chuck Norris! Slams him in the corner, double-handed Bulldog! In the cover, Waluigi can pin Norris, one, two, no! Norris kicks out at two! Waluigi almost got the pinfall on Chuck Norris. As Norris with a shot again, no, Waluigi again seeing the shot coming, belly to belly suplex, picking down Chuck Norris. As Waluigi, oh, what a swinging neck breaker, taking down Chuck Norris. As Waluigi, man, he is just on fire. How many times do I have to say that? Because I am like literally Waluigi. No! Norris was able to extinguish that fire. R reverses Waluigi and look at him. Again, the combination of strikes, the lightning quick speed of his kicks and shots. As Norris again, just with the boots. Oh, knee to the face. And it's still Chuck Norris. Just, oh my God. The lightning quick reflexes of Norris and that kick to the chest just to add the exclamation point. Had a matchup here. Irish whips to the corner. Norris bringing Waluigi to the top turnbuckle. Oh my god, what a knee to the face. And another one. Oh, he went for a third. But third time was not the charm. Waluigi with the reversal. Huge clothesline from the top turnbuckle. Taking down Chuck Norris. As Waluigi. Fireman's carry. No, Norris was able to flip over. He was able to flip over. Another roundhouse kick. But Norris is not done! Norris is sizing him up! A second roundhouse kick in a row! Cover one! No! Mega Man breaking up the cover! Oh, but Mega Man gets a roundhouse kick to the back of the head for his troubles! What the hell is Chris Awesome doing here? Float over DDT to Waluigi! While oh, Norris is trying to take out the rest of the competitors on the apron! Chris Awesome with a cheap shot to Waluigi. That's all oh, Stefan getting hit off the apron. That's Chuck Norris with a third round off the Waluigi. Chuck Norris takes down Hitler off the apron. Cover to Waluigi. One, two. That is it. Waluigi's been eliminated. The Americans have the advantage now as they are six to five. But who will be the next participant for the non-Americans? As this is a song I do not recognize here. Who can this possibly be? Oh my god! Is that King? It's King from Tekken! 
of course representing Mexico as King is making his debut here in the Wife of Wars. What the hell? An unexpected entry into this matchup. Well, we're going to see what King is all about. King! As Norris is waiting for him. Oh, never mind. Norris is going to take the advantage of King being on the outside of the ring and tags in Guy Fieri. As I was about to say, Chuck Norris and King might be a dream match to some. But Guy Fieri ends up getting tagged in as, oh god, King immediately reverses Guy's shot. That's, oh, what a shot to the back of the head there by King. That's King now. Oh my god. Actually, yeah, it is King versus King right now. The King of the Hill, Guy Fieri taking on the King of Tekken. Oh my god, a, a set out Gord Buster. Or a set out reverse deal, if you're a mark like me. By King as King is just slapping the taste out of Guy Fieri's chest. Yes, his chest, not even his mouth. That's how hard his chops are. As King going to the top turn, but go, but oh my god, look at Chris Awesome. He just threw King right on the Guy Fieri, and Guy is pissed. He's like, what the fuck, Chris? Why'd you throw King onto me? And because of that, because of the distraction, King was able to take advantage with that Osaka Street Cutter. Cover by King, one, two, ooh, two count only that distraction, the unexpected distraction. I don't think Chris Awesome meant it. Almost took down uh, Guy Fieri from this match. King now is the Irish Open to the corner yet again. The chops to the chest. You can hear the chops echo across the arena. As Oh, he went for another chop. A guy with the reversal. Guy with the kick to the gut. King is reeling. Guy springing to the top turnbuckle. Cross body there from Guy. One. No, only a one count Guy. Barely had any damage on the King. It makes sense why he kicked out at one. But Guy with the agility, with the speed, taking down King. King has the size and strength, but Guy has the speed. And Chris Awesome again! That's the second time that Chris Awesome has just done that. And yet again, Guy Fieri is pissed at Awesome. He's telling him, mind your own damn business. Guy wants to beat King fair and square, but Chris Awesome obviously has a has his own damn ways in this matchup and because of the distraction again King has Guy oh my god muscle buster holy shit King now running from the ropes cross body just lounging his body at Guy as he drags a uh, Guy more towards middle ring bounces off the ropes diving elbow from the mat as King showing off his agility but oh Guy with the reversal kick to the guy, a crossbody of his own. These two men just tearing down the house. Guy handsprings from the ropes, catches up, spinning at scissors. Oh my god, what a maneuver there by Guy. He is sizing him up. He is sizing him up. Springboards from the ropes. Oh my god, King caught him. King, King caught Guy into the burning hammer, but Chris Awesome might stick in his nose where it does not belong again. King caught Guy Fieri on his shoulders when Guy springboard from the ropes into the burning hammer, but because of Chris Awesome's interference, it actually gives Guy a chance to make a comeback here. But they both make it to their feet at the same time. King again with another burning hammer onto Guy Fieri and oh Chris Awesome again with a cheap shot onto King but this time Awesome could not see that shot coming as King with the cover onto Guy Fieri after two burning hammers and Guy Fieri has been eliminated by King as who is gonna be the next participant representing America. Oh my God! Is that who I think it is? It is, it's the commissioner of the Waifu Wars, Little Max, right hand man, it's Shaquille O'Neal. Making his return, we haven't seen Shaquille O'Neal since season two or three. It has been a while, but Shaquille O'Neal has been doing commissioner stuff behind the scenes of the Waifu Wars. 
but he's making his in-ring return. And this is a man I believe to counter King. Look at them, they're both gigantic. Good God Almighty. These two men are just, they take up the whole ring. Oh my God. Shaquille O'Neal just hit him with a huge chop cover. No, that was so close. Shaquille O'Neal almost just immediately got into the ring and almost immediately took out King! Oh my god, look at the strength of King! With that overhead belly to belly suplex on the Shaquille O'Neal! And now, just laying in the strikes to Shaquille here! The commissioner is in trouble! He's the damn commissioner and he has his own damn logo on the bottom right of the screen sometimes as Kinging! The Fuhrer, oh my god, an assisted air raid siren there by the Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler and King in a cover. Shaquille O'Neal could be done. No, Shaquille O'Neal with the kick out of out at two. As the Fuhrer now picking him up. No, Shaquille with the reversal. He misses his shot. And now the Fuhrer just laying in the right hands. No, reversal there by Shaquille O'Neal again. He just picks him up like he's a baby and chucks him like a sack of shit. Of course, Shaquille showing the size advantage over Adolf Hitler. Look at him. He picks him up again. He is just walking around the ring with the Fuhrer in his hands. Oh, my God. It just chucks him like a sack of shit times two. As Shaquille O'Neal is on fire here. As he hits him with a backbreaker. The Fuhrer looks in trouble. He could be eliminated as we speak. But no, Adolf Hitler was able to gain the advantage. But yet again, Shaquille O'Neal with the advantage of his own. As O'Neal with a shot to the gut while the Fuhrer is in his corner. As oh, Stefan with the cheap shot. Stefan was a cheap shot. O'Neal's distracted. O'Neal was distracted because of Stefan. The strength of the Fuhrer to pick him up and hit him with a tombstone pile driver. But look at Chris Awesome. Chris Awesome was distracting the referee. The referee's out of position. One, two, and because of Chris Awesome, Shaquille O'Neal had enough time to kick out at two. Even with the dirty shenanigans, Awesome has saved the Americans from getting eliminations like twice now. And look at that, the Fuhrer just backing away from Shaquille O'Neal and tagging in Stefan out of fear. And now Stefan is scoring up with the commissioner of the Waifu Wars. As, oh my god, O'Neal looks pissed. O'Neal looks pissed and Stefan again carrying away, tagging in Mega Man. Mega Man making his first making his first appearance of this match, even though he's been here since the beginning. As he goes on the top turnbuckle, Mega Man! Oh my God! A beautiful 6:30 senton from Mega Man. Cover one, two, no! Oh, O'Neal kicks out at two. That was close as a backbreaker there from Mega Man. Mega Man sizing up O'Neal. No! Shaquille O'Neal with the reversal. Back elbow as he Irish whips Mega Man into his corner. Tags in the Chuck Norris. As Norris with a double axe handle to the arm. As Norris with a... Oh! With a reverse suplex. Taking down Mega Man after that double team maneuver. Cover. No! Two count. Mega Man was that close to getting eliminated from this matchup as North with a discus knee it's been reversed by Mega Man as look at Mega Man Mega Man with the agility with the athleticism with that spinning head scissors on the Chuck Norris as a super kick to the face holds on to him straight jacket German suplex into a bridge one two no that was so close that was a two count too close to almost being a three as look at Mega Mouse to strike combinations and a huge clothesline to take down Chuck Norris. As Mega Man back on the top, 450 splash, no! Norris got the knees up, he got the knees up. Norris with a side headlock now. It is applied onto Mega Man here. But oh, Mega Man seemed to have gotten out of it. But Norris using that momentum to still gain the advantage and a knee to the back. 
as Chuck Norris now sizing him up. He is sizing him up. Norris is on fire, but Mega Man springs back to his feet a little bit sooner than expected, but Norris back with the advantage. This gets knee to the face! Norris now. What the hell? Norris with the flash reflexes aiming on King. Back suplex to the apron. What the fuck was Norris doing this? Oh my god! Adolf Hitler held on to Norris and because of that Mega Man was able to hit him with a huge kick and then Hitler with an electric drop. Right on the outside. Wrong place, wrong time. Norris is in the wrong neighborhood here as he's just getting assaulted by the non-Americans. Oh my god, Mega Man. Just tossing Norris into the apron. It is Norris's fault for going after King just so unexpectedly. No one saw it coming as Mega Man with the Mega Man punch out of nowhere on Norris. But look at Stefan. Stefan is telling Mega Man to tag him in. Stefan wants to tag himself in. Come on. And Mega Man is actually going to listen. Chuck Norris is down. And of course, when Chuck Norris is down and out, when he has been damaged by pretty much every member of the Un-Americans except for him, he's got to take advantage. He cannot defeat Norris in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Come on. Stefan with the testicular manslaughter, the cover on Norris. Oh, come on. Stefan has just pinned Norris. Is this a preview of what to expect at the No Escape pay-per-view? Will Stefan pin Norris to retain his championship? Waiter Way, who is our next entry? Little pig, little pig. Let me in. As it's Negan! Negan is the final member of the Americans here. Of course, the non-Americans have the full-on advantage in this matchup. As the, as Negan is the seventh participant in the non -Amer or in the Americans, excuse me, <laughs> he is from America. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. As already the final four competitors for the Americans being Chuck Norris, or not Chuck Norris. Oh my God! Being Captain Dalton, Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Awesome, and now Negan. As the non-Americans still have one more competitor, they still have one more competitor to enter for their crew. But Negan with the Dragon Sleeper on the Stefan is Stefan gonna tap? Are we gonna have to see that final member of the non-Americans? But no, Stefan was able to escape. And look at him, Stefan again, just cowering in fear and immediately tagging in the Mega Man again. As Negan went for a shot, Mega Man was a super kick to the gut. So, but kick to the gut as well. Step jab, kick to the gut. Mega Man now, Irish whip into his, or not into his corner, into a corner though, as he is just with the strikes on the Negan now. As, ooh, the forearms to the face as Mega Man going to the top turnbuckle. Moonsault, Negan moves out the way, but Mega Man landed on his feet and hit him with a moonsault from the floor. What the hell? What an amazing maneuver there by Mega Man. An unexpected maneuver. I've never seen anything like that before from any Waifu Wars competitor. Oh, Negan just gained back the full advantage though, hitting Mega Man with that backbreaker. As now Negan with a scoop and a slam, a body slam, if you will. As Negan just, oh, whoa, did he just kick Mega Man in the Mega Balls? Did you see how that looked a little bit below the belt, but Negan doesn't care. He fights dirty if he has to. Win as you must. But he tags in the Shaquille O'Neal as a huge double team maneuver backbreaker to a suplex. As Shaquille O'Neal is to cover. One, two, no! Two count. Mega Man was that close to not kicking out at the count of two. And Shaquille O'Neal now sizing up Mega Man. Oh god, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal! Choke slam! Choke slam by O'Neal! But Stefan! Stefan is already in the ring! And oh, Stefan broke up the cover at the count of one. Stefan immediately pounced himself into the ring. That slimy bastard of. Oh my god! Shaquille O'Neal's had enough of Stefan's antics. He just. 
He just speared him out of the damn apron. No! Shaquille was sizing up for another choke slam, but Mega Man reversed! Mega Man punch! Mega Man sizing up Shaquille O'Neal because he's getting back on his feet. A second Mega Man punch! Shaquille O'Neal is still getting back on his feet! He's tagged in the king! Mega Man's tagged in the king! Look at the straits of king! Uh, burning hammer! Shaquille O'Neal is finally down! Cover! One! Two! Shaquille O'Neal is done! It is literally five to three. The Americans have three of their competitors, Captain Dalton, Chris Awesome, and Negan, while the un-Americans still have their four competitors on the apron and the, and the fifth member who has yet to even come out. They've only two eliminations has happened for the non-Americans. As oh, Negan, Negan reverses the suplex, big boot, but King is not going down, but the second big boot to the face will do it. Cover by Negan. No! Two count! Two count! King is still in this matchup as King... King just tossing Negan like a sack of shit with that suplex! Release suplex! As the Americans are not looking good in this matchup, but Negan is still trying to fight that back elbow. Irish whipping through his corner. As he tags into Chris Awesome. Is this Chris Awesome's first time being in the matchup ever since this matchup started? I believe so. And Awesome with a huge maneuver as... Oh! Awesome with a Tiger suplex onto King and immediately tags into Dalton. Okay. Yeah, tag into the man that's been getting his... That, that has uh, been getting more damaged by you, Awesome. A good strategy as King is trying to tag in to either the Fuhrer or Mega Man, but Dalton stops him and also takes down referee official Dick Chewy while he was at it. King was so close to tagging it into his teammates, but Dalton is just right on him, just giving him the chainsaw right on the face. The tiger, or the lion face, or cheetah face, lion face. I am an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. No one's going to make it to this part of the video anyway to see my idiot idiocity. As a beautiful Pele kick there from King, by the way. Irish Whip and into his corner, tagging into the Fuhrer, and yet again that assisted Air Raid Siren double team maneuver there by the Fuhrer and King. As Adolf Hitler now Irish Whip and into his corner. As Dalton is just getting pounced by all four of these men. Snake eyes there by the Fuhrer. Uppercut there by Hitler. As Hitler now with a suplex. Oh my god. Landing Dalton's gut right into the ropes. As Hitler from the middle rope with a splash. As he tags in the Mega Man. The constant tags from the non-Americans as wait a minute. Mega Man has a problem with that. Because, of course, he is going to have to fight his best friend, Captain Dalton. Well, maybe not best friends, but good friends of each other. I'm not so sure. I don't know Dalton and Mega Man's friendship that personally. But they have to fight each other now. They are going strike for strike. Dalton obviously does not want to do it. Mega Man does not want to do it. But they have to fight for their, for their rights here. That's, oh, my God. Mega Man with some combination. Dalton is still up in a discus forearm! And obviously Dalton looks conflicted. He does not want to do this, but obviously it is a part of the matchup, so he has to do it. A friendly banter, you could say, between these two beautiful Ringo Plex by Dalton Gover. No! Two count. Two count only. Mega Man almost getting eliminated there by Captain Dalton. Irish whipping through into the corner. Dalton bringing Mega Man to the top turnbuckle. No! Mega Man with a kick to the gut. As Mega Man, no, he went for a kick, but it's been reversed by Dalton. Mega Man punch right on the Mega Man. Mega Man just got hit with his own maneuver, but oh my God, Adolf Hitler, he broke up the cover, but Dalton just Mega Man pushed Hitler right in the back of his head for his troubles. Mega Man, oh my God, he gets hit with another Mega Man punch by Dalton. One, two. Mega Man's been eliminated by Captain Dalton, oh my god! And it is now 4-3 to three as... What the hell?
It's Naruto! Naruto has made his return to the Waifu Wars, but what the fuck is he wearing? Naruto, of course, is the former King of the Hill. His king name got dethroned by Guy Fieri, but why is he still wearing the king's crown? He is that much in his head that Naruto still thinks that he's the fucking king, but he's not! Naruto, look at that guy Fetty! He's been eliminated, but he's gone out to the ring, or to the ramp, excuse me. He is literally that pissed. Oh my god, what an insecurity there by Guy Fetty. Guy Fetty has the right to be pissed as Naruto is claiming himself as the king, but he's not the rightful king. It's Guy Fetty. This guy is just beating the crap out of Naruto with that Hurricanrana driver. Running the concrete as oh he fixed him out he fixed him out for a second time and then he hits him with that third shot tricking Naruto there as Guy Fieri is absolutely mauling on the former king as oh my God he just throws him into a barricade Naruto Naruto he went for a clothesline Guy ducked it Guy has him got it to the adjustment. The match is still going on! Guy Fieri is just assaulting Naruto! And he throws him into the ring! And obviously Guy Fieri has already been eliminated. He's gonna walk away from this matchup. But Naruto has literally been fed on a silver platter for the Americans! As Thornton tags in to Negan! As Negan with the fast reflexes catching Naruto into the Dragon Sleeper! Naruto taps! Naruto enters and then he leaves. He has been eliminated in record time from this matchup. The matchup has literally evened out. It is 3-3. Three to three. It is awesome. Thornton, Negan versus Hitler, King, and Stefan. This matchup has literally just gone into an even field due to the help of Guy Fieri. Guy was literally that pissed that Naruto claimed himself as the king even though Naruto was not even the king. But Hitler now tagging into Stefan, holds Negan, kicked to the gut with a double team maneuver by both the competitors as Stefan was an uppercut. As Stefan now has Negan bouncing off the ropes, the agility, Blur Karana. Nicely executed there by Stefan to cover one. Two. No! Negan was that close to getting eliminated in this matchup. As Stefan with a discus forearm on the Negan. As he picks him up. Uppercut as well. Stefan is just taunting the man. Come on! Not taking Negan seriously. S Stefan literally doing poses for the crowd. What are you doing, Stefan? And because of that, that gave Negan enough time to recover and hit him with a super kick. Negan tagging into Dalton. As Negan was that backbreaker. And then Stefan goes into the grasp of Dalton with a suplex. Stefan literally gave himself the disadvantage for being for being a dick. As oh! Dalton with a forearm, but no, Stefan with the reversal. Chop to the chest. Uppercut there by Stefan. As Stefan catches Thornton with that pop-up Hurricanrana. As Stefan picking him up. Stefan as Thornton. Backslide driver. Cover by Stefan. One, two, no. Ooh, excuse me. But a two count there by Thornton. Stefan going to the apron, sizing up his maneuver. Springboard. No. Thornton moved out the way! Thornton moved out the way! Mega Man punched to Stefan! But look! The Fuhrer! The Fuhrer Adolf Hiller is distracting the referee! One! Two! And because of that, because of Adolf Hitler distracting the referee, it gave enough time for, oh, for Stefan to kick out! Thornton just ran into the boot of King! I think Thornton, out of rage, was going for Adolf Hitler, but King caught him out of nowhere, and Stefan kept up to his feet, and caught Thornton with a shot to the face, clothesline, Thornton sent to the outside of the ring, Stefan running the ropes, 
Oh my god, a twisting plancha! To the outside of the ring, Mamma Mia! Stefan showing his agility, taking down one half the Captain Calvary. Now he's sizing up Thornton! He is sizing up Thornton! No! Thornton was the reversal! Thornton was the reversal! Irish whip into the ropes! Mega Man punch again! One! Two! Stefan has been eliminated! Thornton has just pinned our current Duel Monsters champion! And King has made his way to the ring! It is literally 3-2 to two advantage to the Americans! They have somehow, someway gained the advantage! It, it was looking like the non-Americans were going to win this matchup, but Negan, Captain Thornton, and Chris Awesome have somehow held their own ground and have literally gained themselves the adventure. But look at King from the top turnbuckle, a headbutt, just taking down Thornton. As King on the top again, elbow drop as well. Cover by King, we can literally see an even field one. No, not even a one count. Negan breaking up the cover as soon as it even got hit on us. Chris Awesome, did you see Chris Awesome? Awesome just hit a cheap shot on, he just hit a cheap shot on King, and King obviously did not like that. Oh, but Negan, Negan with a cheap shot of his own. But King taking him down as well. King is not having any of this crap, but because of that, Thornton, Thornton took advantage of the distraction. Thornton with a schoolboy. No! King was able to kick out at two. Thornton with the Irish Hoover to the corner. Tags in the Chris Awesome. Drop to hold. Oh, well, drop to the back. What a double team maneuver there by Thornton and uh, Chris Awesome. Look at what Chris Awesome's wearing, by the way. What the fuck? Is Chris Awesome wearing? As Chris Awesome just gonna turn in the face of King, and oh come on, he just flipped him off. Awesome just flipped him off, and then he's gonna tag in the Negan. Are you fucking kidding me, Awesome? He just went in the ring just to flick him off, and now Negan fighting off King, but he misses the shot, and now King with strikes of his own reverse power slam. Did you see the aggression of how King just slammed Negan right into the floor, or the floor, to the mat, as, oh my god, King, 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 look at the strength, oh my god, power bomb into the ropes. Come on, Negan just recovered from a huge back injury suffered by Bane. And now Negan can possibly have a broken neck because of King. As King again with a power bomb. King is pissed. I think Chris Awesome flicking him off must have just made King just pissed off so much that all this aggression is just going on on Negan. Good God Almighty, a third power bomb by King as King is sizing up Negan. As Negan is in trouble, King has him, Verta Breaker, oh my god, he's gonna break his spine! Unbelievable cover, one, two, that is it, Negan has been eliminated, you land on the back of your neck and that is it, we have literally had an even field now, it is two to two, as Thornton just looks out of it. As King with a, oh, a slingshot, Falcon Arrow, the cover, one, no, Chris Awesome, Chris Awesome broke up the cover, but King immediately with the drop kick to the back of Chris Awesome, but Dalton back in the attack, reverses the kick to the gut, Dalton, ooh, with the aura, aura, the aura, aura from Dalton, but Chris Awesome, what is Chris Awesome doing? Oh, he just, he picks up King, he's helping out Dalton here. As Dalton, using that advantage that Awesome just gave him, was a forearm to the face of King. Dalton now, hitting the back of King, and now dragging him onto the ropes here. As Dalton with a forearm, and a second one. As, oh, a third forearm, King back railing on the ropes. Shot to the face, Dalton now. As Dalton, oh my god, he's trying to hyperextend the arm of King as he picks him up. What is Dalton going for? 
Oh god, look at the screens of Thornton! Look at the screens of Thornton! Oh my god! Sit out Tombstone Power Driver, that could break a man's neck cover! One, two, no! King! How is King kicked out? This is King's debut, and he has been so impressive! He is literally he's literally towing off with a former Wifey Wars World Champion and kept Thornton Muscle Buster! King now going to the top turnbuckle again as he's waiting for Dawn to make it back to his feet. No, Dawn was the reversal. Dawn was the reversal. He runs the ropes. Mega Man Punch! King did not see it coming. Dawn's not done. King is making it back to his feet. Dawn runs the ropes. A second Mega Man Punch! But Thornton, he is not finished. He knows how powerful King is. He is sizing him up. King is back on his feet. How is he back on his feet? Oh my god, a third Mega Man punch as Thornton takes down Hitler from the apron. No one is there to save King. Can King kick out? One, two, three. Oh my god. The Americans have just gained the advantage. It is literally two to one. It is the Fuhrer taking it on Thornton and Chris Awesome. As Hitler obviously has a problem with that. Him and Thornton obviously arguing. But now they're having a face-to-face -face talk, a confrontation. But Hitler, no, he went for a shot. Thornton was the reversal. Thornton was the reversal, kick to the gut. And just a shot. Forearm to the face. Forearm to the face again. Chop to the chest. Thornton is just wailing on the Fuhrer. Adolf Hitler has been in this matchup since the beginning and so has Dalton and so is awesome. All three of these men have been in the matchup since the beginning of this matchup. This is the longest Waifu Wars matchup in the history of the Waifu Wars. Oh my god, Dalton with a discus form again. Are the Americans going to prevail on the 4th of July? Shot to the gut. Dalton just raking on the nose. As Thornton with a kick to the back of the head! Thornton going to the top turnbuckle. What does he have in store for the Fuhrer? No, he went for a double stomp. Hey, what the fuck? Oh my god! The agility of the Fuhrer to stay on Thornton! The transition into a tombstone power driver! But he's not done! He's not done! He is sizing up for a second one! He was sizing up for a second tombstone, but Thornton, Thornton with the reversal, he went for the Mega Man Punch, he missed, he missed the Mega Man Punch, Adolf Hitler, no, Thornton with the reversal, Thornton runs the ropes, Mega Man Punch, all Thornton has to do is pin him, then the Americans win, but what the fuck's Chris Awesome doing? Awesome is telling Thornton to tag him in, Awesome, I think Awesome wants to pin Hitler, so Thornton's gonna let him. Thornton's gonna let him! Wait, what the fuck's Chris Awesome doing? Awesome is getting a chair from under the ring! Thornton, obviously, he has a problem with that! If Awesome hits Adolf with the weapon, he's gonna get himself disqualified! Thornton's saying no! Don't do it! Is Awesome gonna hit Adolf? No! What the fuck? Awesome just hit Thornton! There was a chair! He just hit the referee! Awesome just got himself disqualified! Awesome's leaving! Are you kidding me? Awesome! Awesome just screwed Thornton! Awesome has just screwed America on the 4th of July! The referee was down! Adolf Hitler just hit Thornton with a tombstone on the chair! Thornton is being covered! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? One! Two! Oh my god! Adolf Hitler! Adolf Hitler has just bit Thornton! He is the sole survivor of the Un-Americans! The non-Americans have just won this match! Look at that! Awesome's leaving! Awesome leaving! Well Hitler just hit Thornton with a tombstone on the ran or on the on the chair! And that is all she wrote, Thornton. What well, he was seeing stars after that. Awesome! Disqualified himself just for Hitler to take advantage. This was a plan from the inner communist circle all along. Oh my god!
and the Fuhrer, the sole survivor for his team, but he won under shenanigans. From the inner communist circle, are you kidding me? Well, I guess that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing match up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see that look in Hitler's eyes. I see that look in his eyes. No, come on. The match is over, Hitler. Dalton, has just, Dalton and all the Americans have just been screwed from a victory from the fucking un-Americans. Oh, my God. Hitler is just wailing on Captain Dawn with the fucking steel steps onto the gut. Dawn is making it to his feet, but Hitler just hits him right in the face with the steel steps. Oh, come on. I guess the message has been sent to Captain Dalton and everyone else that Chris Awesome hates America. <laughs> he was a communist all along. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god, it's ah! Uh, fuck god! Enjoy the rest of the life!